for your business, for all life's events. Key Video. Hello everybody, welcome to Come Dine With Me, Western New York. I'm Russ Salvatore, and with me, as always, is my co-host, Jan Farrington. Glad to be here, Russ. And I'm also glad all of you could join us, because on today's program, we're bringing back two very well-known, and I might add, respected chefs in the area. They're gonna be preparing some innovative, really creative dishes that you're gonna find easy enough to make right in your own kitchen. And that's the whole idea behind our show, Jan, to introduce great local chefs, have them prepare their special dishes, and then share their secrets with you at home. That's right, Russ, and I love the idea that it's easy. And you know what? Every day our viewers tell us that they want more. They want more recipes, more tips, more demos, so that's what we're going to be giving you. Right now, let's get things rolling though because Krista's on location and she's getting ready for today's home invasion. <laughs> what have you got for us, chefs? Today we're on our way to the Rizzo household for our home invasion. It's one of my favorites from our classics collection because the theme is Caribbean and that's what I'm all about. We're making grouper fingers, conch fritters, Cuban sandwiches, oyster shooters, and for dessert, it's a surprise. We'll show you step by step how to make these quick and easy, fresh from the islands, Mon, dishes at home. You know the place for its seven signature saltwater aquariums, and now you're gonna know it for one of its signature dishes prepared by owner Tom Payne from the Grapevine restaurant, Veal Kingston. It's a dish developed in central Italy, just a little north of Intradacqua, the hometown of legendary Ilio Di Paolo. And who better qualified to prepare chicken cacciatore but Chef Michael, his son from Ilio's, coming up next. Chicken cacciatore Jan is one of my favorites. I remember when I was young, my dad used to make that on the corner of Delavan Harriet when I was just learning the business. I used to have chopped up the onions, the green peppers. You always use Rhine wine in it that gives it your flavor. Excellent, excellent dish. We're also going to be taking a field trip to Buffalo Hotel Supply, probably one of the finest supply houses for restaurant equipment. I've been dealing with them for 50 years. Without them, I could never have ever set up a kitchen. They are so helpful. If you got to do business with anybody, do it with Buffalo Hotel Supply. But right now, let's head over to our studio kitchen at Artisan Kitchens and Baths with Marco Shortino from Marco's Restaurant and Chef Mike DiPaolo. And you know something? When those two get together, you never know what's going to happen, but you know it's going to be delicious. There's two things for certain at Ilio DiPaolo's, the smell of garlic and onions cooking in the kitchen, and them taking you in as one of their own and making you part of the family. Today we're going to be making chicken cacciatore with Mike DiPaolo. It's one of the healthy choice options at their restaurant. You're going to absolutely love this. Welcome, Mike, to come dine with me. Show us your Marco. magic. I'm going to start off by sautéing some of the boneless, skinless chicken breast. Okay. Listen to that sizzle. You know it's nice and hot. You sear the bottom half of it so it doesn't stick to your pan. Yep. Want to get a nice little golden brown on there. While we're sautéing the, the chicken, I'm actually going to have Marco do some work for me for a change. So, so how, Marco, how, how about work? you I like I thought to... I was the host. No, no, no. i got to do some work. Do some work. Let's start off slicing up with the onions oh, first. Oh, the onions first? Yeah. Okay. got to have an order to everything, Now, Marco. what if I start order. crying about this? this... Well, <laughs> I'm sure you'll be crying by the end of the day anyhow, so no big deal. These knives are super okay. sharp. They're from our sponsor, Buffalo Hotel Supply. Ah, it's Buffalo. Standing, yes, they are. Buffalo Hotel Supply. We do a lot of business with them. Yeah, let's throw some green peppers and the mushrooms, and then once we get the chicken done, we're going to pop it into the oven, and then we're going to make our cacciatore sauce right in a pan. We do our Italian dressing. The oil in here, you know, thinking health-wise, now our Italian dressing is pretty good, pretty good, but I'm going to make it a lot better. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove some of the oil. Just a little bit. We're and I'm going to replace it with some of the balsamic vinaigrette, or balsamic vinegar. No. That's good so far. Now this is better for you, better, nice more flavor, a little sweetness with the uh, balsamic vinegar. You give it a little shake, a little razzmatazz. 
I like that raspberry taste. Yeah. The and then right here we have some uh, fresh mozzarella, some Roma tomatoes, some mixed greens, a little red onion, and you have a nice salad to start your course. Okay, let's see. I think we got a nice golden brown on here. Okay. A little quick here, nice and then we're going to pop this in the oven. We're going to start off with some of our a little bit more olive oil. Just a little tad in there, kind of freshen that up. That pan's nice still and nice hot. and hot. Oh yeah, absolutely. We don't want to lose the heat to the pan. I got some nice fresh chopped garlic. Good flavor. Okay. Now we got the garlic just starting to get a brown. Now we'll add the rest of the green peppers, onions, and mushrooms. I'm gonna put a little bit of cream sherry in here. Nice. Okay, okay. now I want to take a little bit of chicken stock, a little bit of basil, a little bit more. A little bit more. Okay. And then also a little bit of uh, rosemary. Yeah. A little bit of black pepper. A little Palo sauce available at your local market. Now, you told me I wasn't going to be able to open this. Come on, come I mean, on. You're the wrestler. Oh. Oh, 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 what's going oh, on? Oh, oh. <laughs> Is that oil? <laughs> Mama me and and there there we pop. go. I heard the pop too. <laughs> that was good. All right. Boy, that was embarrassing. Yeah, it was oh. embarrassing. Jeez. Okay. A bit of the uh, Ilio de Palo's Modernata sauce. How many varieties of sauce do you carry? The three of them. We have a Romano, a uh, mushroom, and the uh, traditional tomato marinara. Any one of these sauces will work in the cacciatore? Absolutely. If you don't like chicken, can you use... A any meat, you can use sausage, you can use veal, veal cacciatore, shrimp, you know, whatever, you know, scallops, seafood. And if you're vegetarian, leave the meat out. This is just delicious on its own. Oh, I'm just over pasta. What a great, nutritious meal. Absolutely. The mushrooms, the chicken, the peppers, the ilio sauce. Oh my God, 3785 South Park, tell them I sent you. I'm Chef Marco, come dine with me. Think global, but stay local at the Salvatore School of Hospitality and Business at Trocare College, where we prepare you for a future in the ever-growing worldwide hospitality industry. After enrolling at Trocare, I went from bartender to manager. It's possible to work and go to school, and Trocare had the financial aid to help make it happen for me. A world of opportunity is waiting at the Trocare School of Hospitality. Contact us today and begin your journey to success. Some say it's our amazing sports bar featuring a variety of specialty and craft beers. Others say it's our relaxed and comfortable dining room. But whatever draws you to Avizano Restaurante, one thing's for certain. You're going to get great Italian at a great price. We pride ourselves on our traditional sauces, homemade pastas, and delectable entrees. Avizano Restaurante, 204 Como Park Boulevard, just minutes from the Galleria Mall, where you always feel right at home. As prosperous a country as the United States, there is no reason that people should be hungry, but unfortunately they are. Here in Western New York, we serve nearly 100,000 individuals in four counties that are hungry. 39,000 of them are children and 8,000 are seniors. They need our help. Russell Salvatore has been a longtime friend of the food bank. Russell has contributed prizes to our Sweet Charity Gala every February. He also donated when Jixter of 97 Rock was living on a trailer during Rock Out Hunger last November. So any little bit that someone could donate to us either in a food donation or a financial donation goes a long way in helping us with our mission of feeding the hungry. When you think Orazio's, think choices. From authentic Italian and fresh seafood to spectacular specials. When you think Orazio's, think homemade. From fresh bread and desserts to made from scratch pastas. When you think Orazio's, think tradition with more than 20 years as a Western New York favorite. And when you think Orazio's, think tonight. Orazio's Restaurant. It's not like home, it is home. Buffalo Hotel Supply is the professional's first choice for food service equipment and supplies in New York State and beyond. Family owned since 1938, we've earned our reputation for excellence. 
offering competitive prices, expert knowledge, and an incredible inventory that's literally at your fingertips. Of course, Buffalo Hotel Supply sells to some of the finest hotels in the Northeast, but they are only about 10% of the clients we serve. In fact, Buffalo Hotel Supply caters to all food service operations, such as restaurants, country clubs, healthcare facilities, schools, and more. We offer all of our clients a complete array of products from food service equipment and furniture to kitchen tools and linens, featuring the quality manufacturers you trust. We even offer commercial kitchen and interior design services, including custom metal and millwork fabrication. Our experienced team members will work with you to source or create the right equipment and deliver your final vision on time and within budget. Buffalo Hotel Supply goes beyond just having it all. We aim to understand it all, too. We pride ourselves on the knowledge and experience of our staff. We take the time to understand your needs and find solutions that will work for you. We do it all with the level of customer service and integrity you won't find anywhere else. For your convenience, Buffalo Hotel Supply offers three attractive showrooms across New York State each with an extensive cash and carry inventory that's open to the general public so you can find the items you need and take them with you the same day. See what it's like to have your equipment and supply partner truly working for you. Stop by or call any Buffalo Hotel Supply location today or visit us online at buffalohotelsupply.com. Well, up next, you know them because of their saltwater aquariums, beautiful patio, and oh, that quaint dining room is just so beautiful. Tom and Lisa Payne have really done a fabulous job with the Grapevine Restaurant. I've been there several times, and their food is absolutely out of this world. Hmm, may I suggest the Veal Kingston? Today we're going to be preparing veal kingston, one of your signature dishes I understand at the restaurant. I also found out that one of your customers, your very, very good customers, had a, a, a big part in uh, actually designing this dish. Yes. He, uh, he wanted us to put something together for him that, was, uh, that had his favorites of portobello mushrooms and veal, so we came up with this dish. And now it's one of your most popular dishes yes. you got. Yes. Very good. Beautiful. All right, we're going to start off by sauteing the onions. Use a little extra virgin olive oil here. Mm -hmm. So, Tom, I understand there's some exciting things going on at the restaurant. Tell us a little bit about it. We're uh, enclosing our patio. We're, we have a rolling glass roof going on it. It's awesome. Wow. So you get to see the ambience outside, but you're actually in the comfort of being inside. Absolutely. Should the weather be inclement, you can't go outside. Absolutely. Oh, how's it get better than that, huh? Okay, so now our onions, they're about, uh, they're about halfway. So now we're going to add our portobello mushrooms. I've sliced these up. We don't need too many. And then we'll just continue. Keep this on nice high heat all the way up. Those sugars are being extracted. Absolutely. That's really good. And the portobello them. mushrooms, they hold up so much better than the regular white mushrooms. White mushrooms, yeah. Mm -hmm. These hold up very well and they don't they don't get that uh, mushy texture, you know, they stay firm throughout the, you know, because we're going to bake, we're going to bake them right on the veal. So that's the okay. kind of mushroom you really need to get the integrity to keep the dish together. Absolutely. Yeah, it gives it a great. lot of nice body. Okay, so while our vegetables are sauteing, we're going to bread our veal. I've got a nice piece of top round cutlet veal, and I've tenderized it with a meat hammer very lightly. Now, I like to use the Progresso breadcrumbs, the very nice Italian breadcrumb. And we don't put this in egg washer. We're just going to bread it lightly, no egg wash or anything, and then we're going to put it right onto the pan. Now that we have our veal breaded and on the pan, the vegetables are sautéed. We're going to leave a little bit al dente, a little bit not not too cooked, and then we're going to cover the veal with the uh, sautéed portobello mushrooms and onions. Okay, now we're going to add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Keep it moist while we're cooking it. And then we'll go right into the oven, 350 degrees for just about 10 minutes. Okay, Art, it's been in about seven, eight minutes now. We're going to pull it out and we're going to add some mozzarella cheese. Wow, that looks outstanding. Okay, we're just going to use a little shredded mozzarella. Not too much. We don't want to cover up the flavor, we just want to enhance it. Then we're going to take it, pop it back in the oven for two or three minutes just to melt this.
Oh my God, Tom, that is absolutely fabulous. I gotta tell you. Thanks, Good. Art. The Grapevine Restaurant, 2545 Niagara Falls Boulevard. I'm Chef Tom Payne. Come dine with me west of New York. This part of the program was sponsored by Key Video Productions. Key Video, creating the image your business deserves. And Russell's Steaks, Chops, and More. Be my guest, let us do the rest. Beautiful design starts with artisan kitchens and baths. Let us transform your kitchen or bath into the dream room you desire. Whatever your style and taste, artisan kitchens and baths can design and install your vision to perfection. Our design team will work within your budget to give you quality at affordable prices. Update your home with artisan kitchens and baths. 200 Amherst Street, Buffalo. Looking for your next favorite restaurant? Then open the door to Gatehouse Grill. At Gatehouse, we make everything from scratch, including our soups and sauces. Enjoy our award-winning chicken Rockefeller or a specialty martini from our copper-topped bar. And don't forget dessert, handcrafted daily by our pastry chef. It's no wonder Janice Oaken gives us three and a half out of four stars. Gatehouse Grill, fine dining food, casual dining prices. You know you need a professional video for your company or website, but you're wondering where do I begin? Well, check out Key Video, Buffalo's premier television, DVD, and web video production house. We work with big businesses and other companies that think big. Corporate image, sales, training, you name it. Scripting, shooting, editing. We call it concept to completion, and we're ready to go to work for you, for your business, for all life's events. Call Key Video at 884-5391. That's 884-5391. Be our guest, let us do the rest. Cooking great food is only half the battle when it comes to successful entertaining. In the Russ Salvatore tradition, great food is nothing without great service. So we're here at Russell Steaks Chops and More today, and we're gonna teach you the proper way to set the table for your guests. To set a proper table, you start out with a clean, crisp tablecloth. You want to take your entree plate, set that right in the middle of your plate setting. Next, your forks are going to go on the left-hand side of your plate. The knife and spoon are going to go to the right-hand side with the edge of the knife facing in. Water glass is going to go at the tip of the knife. Your bread and butter plate goes to the left of the forks. And your napkin can rest right on the plate. Then you've got a beautifully set table for your guests at home. Now that we've shown you the proper way to set a table, you've got one more tool to put into your entertaining toolbox. And that's just one more skill that you can bring to your table. Jan, Jim Carlo just showed us the proper way to set up a table. I am probably the fussiest person when I go out for dinner on setting up a table. Always remember, if you're going to go out and you're going to dine, make sure that they have a bread and butter plate on the table. If you've got to have butter, where do you lay your life? On the table? The bread and butter plate is for you to put your silverware on. I'm always fussy with a linen napkin, and I like a linen tablecloth. That's what you call dining, Jen. That is dining. It's elegant, Russell, and it's beautiful. It's kind of a roadmap of the good food to come, wouldn't you say? I definitely, definitely say that. Well, you know, Russ, it's that time of the show. Here's tonight's Home Invasions, and it's one of our classics. And it's brought to us in part by Pelicano's Pasta Sauce, made in Buffalo, available everywhere.
we've um, been in the house for over 20 years and the first remodel was um, black and white and I had two small children and I had to be out of my mind because I was constantly wiping cabinets. So this time we decided to go with something a little darker and a little more traditional. We fell in love with the ideas that Debbie had from Artisan Kitchens. The cabinetry, the style, as well as the granite countertops and the flooring and the appliances as well and she just did a fantastic job. I have a group of friends coming over today to help with the chefs and it is the group of friends that we spent a week with in Siesta Key this spring. This has been going on for about seven years. Um, my friend Barb and I started taking our younger children um, for Easter vacation. Warm weather, cute guys, beaches, good food, good drinks. I, I'm hoping this is a really raucous time. I'm expecting some serious fun and a lot of laughter and some really good food and I just, I think it's gonna be hilarious. <laughs> Well, Barb gave me a little bit of insight that um, we're going to do kind of a Caribbean, Florida theme. So we decided to make a conch fritter, and we did a group of finger just to kind of bring her back to Florida because she likes it so much and she likes that kind of a fish. I chose to do the Cuban sandwich today. It's a big, crusty loaf of bread stuffed with ham and pork and mustard and pickles. It's just a super dish to have, especially on a picnic or at the beach. I asked Tucker, please, you know, you've got to do the drinks. You're the man behind the drinks. They asked me to be in charge of beverages this time, which was great because it kind of brings me back behind the bar and uh, a little mixology. He brought in the oyster shooters. That was the most fun. And then, of course, me. I did my mango cookie twill. I had to do sorbet. I would like to show everyone how simple and easy it really is. It's all it is is a fruit and a simple syrup and a liqueur of your choice. Art was great. He did two of my favorite seafoods, which were conch and grouper. First we take some conch, run it through a grinder, douse it with a little lime juice, a little lemon juice, and then we take some eggs to make our batter. We took some fresh red peppers, fresh green bell peppers, some diced onions, some celery, salt and pepper, put a little hot sauce in it, flour, a little cornmeal, tighten everything up, and then we took an ice cream scoop, dipped them right out of the container, put them in a the deep fryer, and it came out absolutely beautiful. Now we're gonna make some nice grouper fingers. You said you like grouper. I love grouper. So we're gonna make some nice grouper fingers. Uh, shaped them in fingers with our knife, did a traditional classic breading, and then we just deep fried them real lightly till they floated, and we finished both of them with dipping remoulade sauce, which came out great, and they complement the dish very, very well. <laughs> Salud. Talk about beach bums. I'm with Alicia, who absolutely loves the sand, the sun, the surf. That's right. We're gonna make a Cuban sandwich. I took a pork tenderloin boneless. I put adobo spice on it and roasted it for about two and a half to three hours. And we sliced it very thin, put it on top of the pickles and the ham and the two mustards that gave it a sweetness and a hot. You wanna do the cheese? Yeah. I had so much fun with Marco. It was a perfect combination of PI and the, and the food choice. Got our homemade grill press. Rick, some foil? That's really cool. Let's head over to the pan. All right. And the roll was just incredible. Once we put the old brick on top of it on the grill pan and some oil on it, made it all crunchy and just love and goodness in that sandwich. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Oh my God. It doesn't get any better than this. I'm here with Maureen today. We're gonna be uh, doing the best part of the meal today and it's actually the liquid part. We're gonna be working on some oyster shooters. Some Blue Point Oyster is what we use. And the Blue Point Oysters are excellent because they have a really nice cup which holds the liquor in there and gives you a much better vessel to hold your product in. So a little chook of seaweed, a little lemon juice, a little hot sauce, a little fresh lemon zest, and some fresh horseradish on top just to kick it off. And then uh, the last part, see that liquid, liquid in there? Do we drink it? Mm-hmm. Okay, it a here we go. The, the vodka was a little, had a little bit of zip to it along with the um, seaweed, but it, it was good. I, I liked it. I don't know if I'd ever have another one, but it was great to say I did it. The sorbet, it's basically a simple syrup. One and a quarter cups of sugar with one cup of water. Bring it to a boil and cook that sugar out. And then add that to your pureed fruit with maybe some zest, some lemon or lime, and then choose some sort of a liqueur. And I chose elderflower. It almost had a passion fruit taste. It worked well with that mango and that lemon zest just brought it all together. And look at that. Isn't that great? She's wonderful. Really easy to talk to, really easy to learn from. Likes a lot of the same kind of foods that I do, a lot of tropical stuff, so it worked out well. As far as the cookie twill goes, it was just melted butter, and then I added a bit of sugar, cooked that out a little bit with some flour. I added nuts. My nuts of choice today were pecans. We just baked a little scoop of that, and it spread out. As it was still warm, you just form it to any size cup, and it'll just fall. And then flip it around, let it cool, and fill it with your sorbet, garnish it with some berries, 
I love fresh fruit and the sorbet was delicious. You like it? Mm -hmm. The food was really, really excellent. We had a great time and the chefs were just so easy to work with, so easy to talk to. Being back together and having us wear these clothes and see all this Florida stuff was really, really awesome. It was so much fun. It was great being here with my friends and the chefs were dynamite. This was probably one of the better moments in life today that we all got to share together. Come dine with me, Western New York. <laughs> what a fun group of people, Russ. Looks like they had a great time. But we're out of time for this episode. But before we go, we'd like to thank our great sponsors, Artisan Kitchens and Baths, Buffalo Hotel Supply, and of course, Key Video Productions. And Jan, as I stress over the weeks that we've been doing the show, when dining out this week, please support our local restaurants. Find us food, find us prices, find us people to be served by. Oh, that's such great advice, Russ. And just a reminder that if you'd like any of the recipes you've seen on tonight's show or you want to learn more about our program, just check us out on Facebook. For everyone here at Come Dine With Me Western New York, I'm Jan Farrington. And I'm Russ Salvatore. Time to stick a fork in it, Jan, cause we are done. <laughs> professional video for your company or website but you're wondering where do I begin well check out key video Buffalo's premier television DVD and web video production house we work with big businesses and other companies that think big corporate image sales training you name it scripting shooting editing we call it concept to completion and we're ready to go to work for you for your business for all life's events call key video at 884-5391 that's 884-5391 the Village Inn, located on Ferry Road in Grand Island, offers a quaint, home-like atmosphere for your dining pleasure. And the food? Ah, yes, the food. Homemade soups from scratch, prime rib and pasta specials, along with Western New York favorites, including our famous fish fry. And of course, a perfect ending to one of our great meals, our famous desserts. It truly is Grand Island's best kept secret. The Village Inn, comfort food at its best. Think global, but stay local at the Salvatore School of Hospitality and Business at Trocare College, where we prepare you for a future in the ever-growing worldwide hospitality industry. I was surprised to discover that I could get both small classroom and big opportunities at Trocare. I even had a chance to do an internship in Egypt. A world of opportunity is waiting at the Trocare School of Hospitality. Contact us today and begin your journey to success. Where can you find the lowest liquor prices? Where can you find the deals? You want popular brands of wine, rum, and tequila with service you just can't be. How do you like your drink? I like it on the ride. I like it on the ride. Liquor.